Hi everyone, my name's Michelle and I'm Mama Loves UGB here on Flosstube and welcome to my advent, day five, December the 5th. <sighs> I tell you what, that week has been a long month. <sighs> I don't know, I don't know what has happened to this week. It has been just one thing after another. Um, and we've had, we've had our first snow. I don't know why I'm looking out the window. It's pitch black out there. We've had our first snow. So as I drove to work this morning up on the, up on the high ground, there was snow on the top there, which was lovely to see. Nothing for us, nothing that stopped us going to school or uh, anything like that. Nobody loves a snow day like a teacher, but um, it looks, it looked amazing. In the morning light, it looked amazing. So I think there's some more, again, I'm looking out the window, stop. Um, I think there's some more forecast over the next few days of the weekend are definitely a bit of a cold snap which is uh, really interesting because it's this it's next week coming that our school has decided that they're going to turn the heating off and get it fixed so apparently it's the lesser of lots of evils that it gets done next week so uh, they've got to turn the heating off to most of the classrooms they've apparently hired in some some fan heaters for each of the rooms but I think it's still going to be pretty chilly bearing in mind that we've got to keep the windows open as well. Um, so, and there actually isn't a designated minimum working temperature for teachers. <laughs> so I am going to be going to school in my hat, my gloves and long johns. And if I can get a sleeping bag under my desk, then I might. But otherwise, um, I think it's just going to be really chilly. <laughs> How's everyone's week been? I hope that you've had a really good week, a really productive week. Um, if you want it to be productive. Actually, I hope that if you don't want it to be productive and you want to have a rest, you've had a rest. Because coming into December, I think that's what we, we all need at the moment. So I have got lots to show you. Um, I've got some lovely happy mail. I have got some haul. I've got some charts that I want to show you actually from the most recent Cross Stitcher magazine. I have got previous finishes. I've got a freebie and my advent calendar and a look through the Santa's great book as well which I promised you yesterday so there's gonna be lots lots today so I'm gonna start off with my happy mail and my happy mail comes from Debbie from creatively yours because a couple of weeks ago I entered one of her giveaways for the frosty forest it's hard to say, Frosty Forest series, um, and my name was drawn, so I was super happy about that. Um, this is Debbie's card, Creatively Yours. I'll link her floss tube below, but she also sells um, her own hand-dyed fabrics, which look amazing on, on Instagram. So if you, if you don't already um, subscribe to her, she tells you when she's having a fabric sale. I think she's had a couple. Um, so far and they've they've been really really popular so um so go and have a look at that and she sent me this lovely card it's a lovely Santa in those beautiful Delft blue colours for those of you who don't know um creatively yours Debbie is from the Netherlands so those lovely colours and it reminded me straight away of the stitch along that she's doing with her friend um her friend Alice so yeah and a lovely note inside and she sent me these really nice floss rings which I shall be putting to good use because I've got a couple of ooh, losing my ribbon there a couple of charts to start they've got a really sweet little pattern on I don't know if you can see they've got a little tiny glint of glitter as well which is really nice and then the main thing was the Frosty Forest series by Country Cottage Needleworks. So I've seen um, lots of things of these. You can either stitch them individually or you can do a big nine square of them. So for those of you who haven't seen them, I'll just show you them. So this one's called Snowy Friends. So they're all stitched on this kind of bluey grey colour with a palette of obviously white and green and some brown. So there's that one. And this one is Raccoon Cabin, Trash Panda Cabin. Uh, this one's called Frosty Forest. So I think this is the one that goes in the centre of the nine patch. But you could do them all as individual ornaments or twos and threes. That would be really nice. Snow Girl's Cottage, bringing in that really lovely blue. 
uh, snowy reindeer. That's cute, I like that one. Snowy deer. Snowman's cottage. Um, snowy foxes. And this one is called Bluebird Cabin. Now they're all charted with DMC and one, one or two weeks dye work. So not loads, but just one or two on every, um, on every chart. And I'm just going to see whether it gives me a call for... Um, a 32 count pearl grey linen, which I have actually got, not the exact one, but that's why I can't do a pearl grey. And each one's 65 by 65 and gives you a 4 by 4 inch. So, I can't wait to start that. I'm really super pleased about that. So thank you very much Debbie, thank you for getting that out to me so quickly as well. Um, my daughter was really um, looking at the, the stamps on the envelope as well, so she loved those. So thank you very much. Haul. Haul is very quick. After my super haul the other day, I saw this chart, and this is actually going to be my theme, I suppose, for this um, for this video for a designer. And this is the newest one. It's called Santa Struggle by Pantini Pantini. And sorry about that, just glaring off the light. There we go. And it's Santa in a chimney with his sleigh and he's a bit stuck. And the wording says, not the easiest way to get in and out for some cookies. And it's a nice chart, but the thing that really sold it to me is the Pantini Pantini come with buttons. They all come with buttons. So I'm going to take this little button out and I'm going to attempt to try and show it to you. Uh, and how cute it actually is. So, oops. <laughs> so hopefully Hello. you can see, oh, hang on. Sorry about that. Call of nature for somebody small. <laughs> They're all so well-timed, aren't they? So as I was saying, the thing that really drew me to this chart was the fact that it comes with this little button. Let's see if I can get it to focus properly on that little button. So it's one of those little sort of polymer clay, I think is the name for it, buttons with a Santa with his little hat on that goes on top of the the body that you stitch sticking out of the chimney. So I picked that one up today, as soon as well. I picked it up a couple of days ago and it arrived today. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I really like that one. Okay, the other couple of charts that I wanted to just share with you, um, these are both from Cross Stitcher magazine. And I felt that when I spoke about Cross Stitcher last month, when I was talking about Readly, I said there wasn't anything in it that I really liked. So I felt that it was only right for me to tell you that there is something that I really like it this month. I'm sure you're not that bothered. But these are the two things that I really like. So I have Readly and I've spoken to you guys about Readly lots of times. Um, and so if I want to do a working copy of something I like, I just take a screenshot of it and then print it from my screenshot because Readly itself doesn't have a, a print function. Um, so the first thing that I liked were these set of three stitching related ornaments. Now they've got them stitched here on Ada, I think, and then made into little pillows um, or little ornaments. But I would think about maybe doing those on some perforated paper or maybe even just in a small hoop to hang on the tree. So there's a spool of cotton, a tomato and an old fashioned sewing machine. And does it give you another close-up of them? No, it doesn't. It's just the charts. So I really like those. So those are in the, I think it's the January edition. 
it's, it's labelled as the January edition, I think, of Cross Stitcher magazine. But it came on to Readly yesterday. And I think Readly normally gets them a week or so before they appear in the shops. So that is my first one from Readly that I really liked. Not Readly, from Cross Stitcher that I really liked. And my second one that I really liked um, was this one, which is called Snow Place Like Home. And it's this really nice snowy scene. The other bit is on the front page that I've also printed out. But it's this really snowy scene and I just love this little pink house. Um, it almost reminded me a little bit of a lone elm design. But there's something I really liked about it with the, um, the birds and the squirrel and then the trees in the background. So I really, really liked that one. So I just felt that I should, I didn't want to be biased, but I should show you this time that there are things that, that I like this time. And it, that's the way with magazines, isn't it? There's not always going to be something that you that you like in every issue. Right, it's advent time. I'm so excited. So I remember to turn the lights on this time. So day five, here is my advent threads. So we'll see if we're going to get a similar colour or something different today. So day five. I'm going to show you first. Oh. So Weeks Dye Works this time. So this is the first Weeks Dye Works one. And this is Grits. Excellent. I think Grits is in one of the charts that I'm looking at doing. Hmm, I have to see which one it is. But yeah, it's blowing out a little bit. It's a bit better back there. But you, you know what Grits is like. They're all, it's a sort of a, a creamy white with just that little bit of variegation where it goes from like a bright white to a cream. So that is a new colour tone and a new thread designer. So there we are with five, five threads. So freebie, freebie. Now this freebie, this would take you an evening to stitch and it is so so nice. It is by Pineberry Lane so when I was looking at Pineberry Lane the other day and I got those charts when they had 20% off I, um, I found this one as well so I'm going to put the link to it. It's stitched in or it's charted in DMC so all good with the DMC and on a Weeks Dye Works colour called Linen but really it's so, I'm just going to fold it there so you don't see the chart, it's so cute and so little you could do it literally on anything with whatever you've got to hand, all those little short bits that you've got left. So a nice little primitive, primitive Santa there. Ho ho ho. That's a terrible ho ho ho. And again that's really blown out but there. So to me it's stitched on like a like a wren or something like that. It looks like that sort of colour in the in the picture. So I could even pop it on the same bit of fabric that I had the cardinal on. It would go go nicely on the back. Hmm, might even do that later. Although I am still working on my wild iris snaps freebie as well. So Pineberry Lane, ho ho ho. As always you'll find the link down below so you can go and grab yourself a copy of that one. So I said I've got um, a theme going with my my haul and my freebies, nope not my freebies, my haul and my previous stitches. So these are two of my previous stitches, I think I've shown them both on camera before but um, they're so lovely I'm going to show them again. And I know not everyone's gone back through my entire back catalogue um, and watched every single video so it'll, just nice to, to go back and do some, some ones from before. So the first one this one I've definitely shown before but I'm not sure about the other one. Again these are both Puntini Puntini. Um, so this one I know is called Sweetest Strawberry and it is stitched on 32 count, I believe it's Legacy by Picture This Plus. Um, if not I'll, I'll check and I'll, put, I'll write it across the bottom but I think that's what it is but there's something tingling in my brain. There's always something tingling in my brain. 
so there's this one and I wasn't sure how I was going to finish it and then I decided what I was going to do was make like a little picnic basket for it. Now these are dead easy to make. Um, all it is is a square, two squares of fabric, one on the inside, one on the outside and what I do is I put some iron-on lining in the middle on one of them, on one of the pieces. You could do it on both sides if you wanted to, you wanted to be a bit thicker. And then turn it inside out, sew it round and then put the poppers on the corners so that when you pop them they make a little basket like that. You can make these whatever size, whatever size you want to and they're really nice actually for sitting on the arm of the sofa because you know you put stuff on the arm of the sofa and then it falls off and then you've got to pick it back up and your scissors go missing. Is that just me? Um, so they're really nice to actually sit on the arm of the sofa. And then all I did with this one is just mounted it onto a piece of mat board. Well, this is, yeah, this is on a piece of mat board with a bit of batting on the top. And then I mounted it on top of another piece of mat board. So I've got two pieces of mat board there. And then it just sits in the bottom of my tray. Now the, the little button for this one is the strawberry right in the middle there. That's the little button for this one. And I stitched it mostly in silks for you and some Weeks Dye Works. They're not the called for colours, but they're just ish that I had to hand. And I was pretty happy with the way that turned out. That was part of my button mania. So for mania this year, I did um, my new starts, which I did at the weekends, were all charts which had buttons attached to them. Um, so this was one of them. And then my other one, which I don't think I've shown before, is this one again by Pantini Pantini. And it's called I'll Be There For You. I'll Be There For You. And this really didn't take very long to stitch up at all. There's not a massive amount of stitching in it, but it's a really nice, a really nice pillow. And again, I'll just have to put the, the fabric along the bottom here because I'm not 100% sure what it is, but I know I've got it written down. And the buttons for this one are the little bee right in the middle there and the little flower there. And again, it's stitched in called for ish. So same colour tones but with what I've had to hand that was similar. And it's just backed with a little bit of black velvet which is one of my thing, favourite things to back with is velvet. I need to look for some more. So those are my two previous finishes, if I can get them both in the picture, two previous finishes that I stitched over the last 12 months. So that just leaves this book. We've got time just to have a little look through. Now I bought mine as a secondhand copy from Amazon and at the time I think it was only five or six pounds including postage. You know one of those ones that you get from World of Books or something like that. And this is by Leisure Arts. And Leisure Arts used to do um, a, pretty much a Christmas book every year I think. Uh, and this has got the best of the Santas in it or it's a collection of Santas. So I'm not gonna show you every single one because um, there are some in here that do look dated. Um, you know, for example, that one. I'm not saying it's not great, it's just a bit more dated. But there are some that are just really, really beautiful. So that one's called Travelling Companions and I think that's lovely. that one. Now I'm not going to be able to tell you the names of each of these Santas because the name is more often with the actual chart which is at the back of the book. So this one's got all the pictures at the front and then the charts at the back. I love that one as well with the owl. And 
Um, this one is called the Enchanted Sleigh. Yeah, it, is, it is next to it. And I saw somebody on, oh, I think it was on Facebook, had been stitching these Santas and she had done them into a quilt. There was about, oh, there must have been 16 of these beautiful Santas all on squares and she'd made it all into a quilt um, with with fabric sort of between each one and I know that's got a special name but I'm not a quilter so I can't tell you what it's called. Christmas Journey. This one, Santa over the little girl. Not sure about that one. I get the sentiment, but it looks a bit creepy to me. That one. I do like I do like the green Santa. And I like the fact that not all of these Santas are red. There's some different colours. Um, there's two here. Little green Santa talking to a bunny. And Santa with his wheelbarrow with the blue. I like the blue Santas too. Now you, I should have brought it with me actually. Uh, a couple of videos ago I showed you that I'd stitched this Santa and I stitched him on some tweed material using uh, that stuff, Solubilader. Nearly killed my fingers. And I actually, I've got a bit of a hankering to re-stitch him on some really nice linen. And in one of the other books, there is a Santa with a blue umbrella as well. So I might look him out and maybe do a pair. Uh, Santa on the chimney. I think this one's really nice. It's not necessarily my taste, but I think it's really beautifully done. And which other ones have we got? Oh, nice. This is the one, yeah, that's on the front. This is called And Then in a Twinkling. So, sorry, let me try and hold that a bit more, a bit more flat. So you've got Santa there with the reindeer behind. I think that's lovely. It says, And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pouring of little feet could be. Yeah. And oh I do like this one. <laughs> this one's called Prairie Santa. He's riding a cow. <laughs> How amazing is that? I think that's so pretty. And funky at the same time. Sorry for the the pages rustling. And I think, are we getting near the end? There's, there's more patterns. Like I say, I'm only cherry picking a few. That one's nice too. With the little hobby horse and the bricks against the dark background. Some of these on hand dyed fabrics would be amazing. Because when this book was done, uh, there weren't a lot of the hand dyed fabrics. These are all stitched on plain. But some of these on hand dyed fabrics would look immense. You could really just let your creativity go. There we go. That is my selection out of that book. So I hope everyone has a lovely Friday night. We are going to have some fajitas, I think, for tea. And then an early night and then a tooth's come out this time. So that was what I could hear thundering along the, the landing. I'd like to see, say that she was dainty and light footed, but she's not, it's like a herd of hippos coming along there. So as I was saying, fajitas for tea tonight, nice early night, hopefully a lie in tomorrow. Who am I kidding? This, none of this is gonna happen. I'm gonna be stitching and getting some more, um, more work on Iris's naps and getting ready for tomorrow's advent. So I will see you tomorrow. Stay classy, Stitches.